Safari, but with a J. Yeah, yeah keep it easy. <laughs> hey, everybody. Josh Brown here, managing editor with Geist Magazine. We're downtown today in front of the side of the brand new Reggie Mur uh, Miller mural. That's a little bit of a mouthful, if you it say is, it. It is, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of right behind us, uh, hanging out with artist Pamela Bliss, who's just finished the mural. Right. And building owner Ben Jafari. Guys, thanks for hanging out with us and joining us today. Thank thanks you for having us. Yeah, Thank thanks you. for letting us come out here, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're trying to beat the rain a little bit, so we're going to chat for a little bit on Facebook Live. Uh, ben, I guess just start us off. How'd you come up with this idea? Because you reached out to Pamela, who's done many murals around the city before, exactly. about maybe doing a mural on your building. How did this come about? Exactly. Well, number one, I'm a big Pacer fan and whatnot, and so Pamela, a lot of well, people. So. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I, I live I live around here, so I live around uh, Mass Ave, and Pamela's done a couple of pieces over there, and I kind of um, saw her piece over there, and then when we bought we bought this building last year in May of 2017, so. I kind of reached out to her. She was trying to reach out to me, actually, because um, she always wanted to paint something here. And then I'm like, hey, let's go for Reggie Miller. So yeah. it works out perfect. I mean, obviously, you got 60 feet of him, yeah. two and a three, and it's... Ne very uh, narrow space. Yeah, narrow space. And the continuous space. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I think it's something only we, only Reggie could fill this right. space, yeah. though. <laughs> exactly. So that's kind of how it came about. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, it's huge. It looks fantastic. Uh, yeah. Pamela is 60 feet tall. 60 feet. You're up there pretty high. And you were telling me the other day, I mean, you do have a little bit of a... Of uh, scared of heights, right? I, mean, I am not... scared of heights. I, I am. Um, if I can control it, like with the boom lift, I get butterflies the first day or two whenever right. I start a mural. But once I get over the fear of dying, then uh, <laughs> you know I can focus on the painting itself. And uh, but if I walk up onto a balcony, I might you know have a panic attack. But that's different. <laughs> I can't control that. But right, you just don't look down, right? Right, you know, right. <laughs> awesome. Well, okay, so 60 feet tall, you can see behind us, it's huge, and it really looks amazing. If you haven't been down here yet to see it, you've got to stop by and check it out. But Pamela, tell us a little bit just about what all goes into this, the process. How long did this take you to full completion? Well, we actually um, started a, a while back, but we had to get a lot of um, permissions. Right. Uh, I first contacted the Pacers and um, to get their permission, and they said that we had to get the NBA permission as well. For the so, rights with the Pacers logo and things right. like that. And then uh, Reggie himself, because he owns his own likeness, right. too. So uh, we had to get his permission, which I was so happy when he said yes, because I know he says no to a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> but um, And then we had to go through zoning city. We had to go regional center. We had contacted Jack, Jeff York uh, with the zoning uh, department. He helped us quite a bit. And... Uh, so we had to go through several different layers just to get it up. A lot of hoops to jump through. A lot of, lot of yeah, no pun intended, right? <laughs> right, it's impossible. <laughs> How long did it take you to complete the actual painting of the mural? A little over a month. A little over a month. Yeah, I had to deal with the weather and uh, sometimes extreme heat. Uh, right. I can't, or sometimes I can't deal with the full-on, uh, really hot, uh, bright sunshine. Yeah. And then, you know, like the angle of the sun also... I can't see it as well. Not it just affects me. But and then you know, one day it might rain. So you know, there's just a few factors that go into it. But a little over a month. Yeah, it seemed like we had an unseasonally warm September, early October we did. this year. Yeah, yeah, which so, helped. Yeah, because I can't do, deal with the cold either. Right. Well, being up there, your hands probably shaking when it's real cold. It's probably right. hard to focus. I've had to wear gloves before. When I did the two Super Bowl murals, which was the Kurt Vonnegut on Mass Ave and then the Jazz Musicians of Indiana Avenue on the musician's repair and sales shop. Uh, I uh, um, did that, both of those were late in the season and I painted up until January 9th to try to get it done for the Super Bowl. And I was wearing gloves, I was freezing. Yeah. <laughs> it was unseasonably <laughs> warm at that, that year. Right. Well, that's the other part of this too, for, for those watching, maybe they don't know, because everyone's seen the Kurt Vonnegut mur mural before and these other big murals downtown. You've also done uh, some of the Pacers Hall of Fame mural as well at, at the inside, inside the Bankers, Bankers Live. Life, right. So that's Pamela, if you didn't know. She's the one knocking these murals out, these beautiful, beautiful, huge murals. Where does this Reggie Miller one rank for you? It's number one. It's yeah. my favorite. Um, I, uh, as far as quality, it's, I, it's my number one. I think it's my best. Um, but also, as far as subject matter, because I've been wanting to paint Reggie for a long time. Uh, ever since I uh, painted the mural Inside Banker's Life, you know, I, when he retired, I thought someone needs to do something because of his, you know, he's, he's, uh, you know, above average. You know? Right. And um, just like Kurt Vonnegut and, and you want to recognize those people. I'm surprised it took this long. Yeah. To, I know that the Children's Museum just put in a um, statue of him. 
but um, you know, still, that's how long has it been? 18 yeah. years since you've been a while, yeah, something like that. Awesome. Well, Ben, we were chatting a little bit before. Obviously, you're building here. Let everyone know the address if they haven't stopped by. Yeah, and seen 127 it. East Michigan Street. So East right Michigan here downtown. Street. Yeah, you can't miss it. Can't miss it. Intersection of Delaware and uh, Michigan Street. So, yeah. yeah, there's yeah. a Firestone right across yeah. the street, so you can't miss it. Huge yeah. parking garage. Yeah. Uh, but we were chatting, Ben. I mean, now that this is completed, because it's been what almost two weeks ish yeah. now that it's been completed. You've got office space here, people walking by. What's kind of been the community response that you've heard from people? It's, it's been great so far. I mean, I, I, we get, I'm always looking at our cameras. You see people coming in and they start taking selfies, selfies and stuff right. like that. <laughs> we're, also, we're actually going to install a selfie station on that oh, corner. Oh, perfect. So people can come in and take selfies, though. But it's been great. I'm, it's just... It's great for the community, great for Indianapolis, great for art, and it's, I'm just I'm just honored to have Reggie here, and I'm I'm grateful that Pamela uh, did this piece of art because yeah. I think thank- it looks amazing. Yeah. I, I I'm thankful that he asked me to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. incredible. But it's it's exciting. Yeah, it's exciting. Yeah, well, it's and, nice, yeah. and Pamela, for you too, we were talking a little bit. I mean, what's because you've heard from Reggie himself as well. So yes. maybe even give give those watching or listening a little insight. What did Reggie say to you about this when he finally saw oh, it? Oh, he said it was, he hasn't seen it in person, just right. images. Pictures. Um, and but uh, he said this was fantastic. Mm-hmm. He said he couldn't wait to see it in person and also give me a huge hug. Yeah, which has got to be relieving for you, right? Anytime right. you're painting anyone. Right. Yeah. Yeah, because like I said, he is he, he says no to a lot of stuff. So for him to to like this and you know that that's just a and the, and any any time you do a portrait and portrait artists they look to um, make someone look like someone. So mm-hmm. when when the person themselves is happy with it, that's the biggest compliment. Right. Yeah, and well, I try to capture the personality and that right. kind of thing. Right. Awesome. I believe you were telling me one of the days you were working, uh, someone told you, "Hey, it looks great." You turn around, it was who was it? Andrew oh, Luck. Andrew Luck, yeah. <laughs> That's got to be a surprise. Right. Right? Maybe I'll paint him one of these days. <laughs> Hopefully so. Right, well, yeah. We'll paint him on the other side. Of the yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, you got a whole other side yeah, to work with. Side. And right. he, actually, he actually lives right over there. So really? Yeah, he actually lives in those condos over there. Awesome. So, yeah, so. so he's right yeah, around we'll, the corner, we'll too. We'll go over yeah. there, yeah. I'm yeah. close one, too. We're looking good. Yeah. We're looking good. Yeah. Looking on a little bit of a roll. Yeah, a little bit of a roll. You know, you got to start somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, it is uh, just a beautiful addition to the city. It looks so awesome. You did an amazing job. Thank you. Great job braving the heights up there and getting it done. Thank you. It was fun. I really enjoyed doing it. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for taking some time to chat with us and hang out with us for a little bit. Well, Reggie is from the Geist area, so... Right, yeah, there is a Geist connection there. So Reggie, of course, you know, when he was with the Pacers, lived in the Geist area. I believe oh, yeah, you yeah. said your son lives in the Geist area yeah, as well, Yeah, my son right? lives in the Geist area. Yeah, and, awesome. Uh, so, so you've, you've been there. around that area quite a bit. Oh, yeah, I go there quite a bit. Yeah. And um, so I imagine where Reggie was seen in the Geist area quite a bit. I don't know right. if he did his own shopping, but <laughs> <laughs> he probably got mobbed if he did. Right, yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much again for taking some time to hang out with us. Uh, Be on the lookout for this story soon. We'll have it up in our upcoming issue and online. And and thank you guys so much again for just letting me pop by and chat for a little bit and see the mural. Thank you. Actually, before we cut off the live feed, I'm going to walk up for you guys and uh, get the camera right up here so you can get really just a a really good look of the mural. Because it is, I mean, seeing video here really doesn't do it justice. You've got to you got to come down here and check it out for yourself, but if that gives you any idea of the height, I mean, 60 feet tall, that's pretty incredible. So even in the time we've been sitting here talking, lots of people, lots of people come in to uh, look and to check it out. So thanks again, everybody, for joining us, and uh, stay in touch soon and, and be on the lookout for this story. See ya.